In this video, I wanna show you guys how to parse out XML. So XML is not used as much as it used to be. And for the most part, uh, most people use JSON to pass data between different sites. But sitemaps for websites are still used um, for XML. Uh, they still use XML for sitemaps. So you, pulling the sitemap of a website and then parsing it out to get all the URLs of that site is a good example of how to show you guys how to parse out XML. So I pulled the sitemap for an, from an example site and I have that sitemap here. I wanna show you guys how to parse it out and how easy and quick it is to do that, all right? So let's get started. So here on ideapro.io, I've created a page and it's called XML example.php. So here in the browser, we have opened up this XML example.php. And so on the sitemap.xml, I've created this page that is a, an example sitemap that I've pulled. And so this is what you would see on the actual website, but it would be more than likely have kind of a style sheet to it so that it wouldn't look like this. But if you used curl, you could connect to the sitemap and pull this data back into your page. And so I've created this page here just as an example on our current machine or on, on our current server. And I'm just going to call XML is equal to file get contents. Because it's local, I don't have to use curl. I can just pull in this page here. So sitemap.xml, and it's on the same, this file is in the root directory of the ideapro.io site. So if I was doing this to an external page, I would want to use curl because file get contents may be turned off on your server. Curl, you could use the, um, I did a video for a curl example. You could use curl to pull in any website sitemap file. So if you go to that website, you find the sitemap.xml file, you could put that into curl and you could pull that data into there, okay? So now we have this data for XML. So now we need to parse out that data. So we're just gonna call XML parse equal to, and then we're gonna say simple XML load string, okay? And then the data, which is gonna be XML here, save, and we're going to print that out to the browser. So XML parse, come on, P-A-R-S-E, there we go. And now if we come over here to our page and we refresh the page, now we've parsed out that XML data into an object that now does the array. So now we could do a for each. XML parse as key dollar sign value. And then we can show array for the value. Come back over here and refresh. And we have each one of these XML objects here. So then we could say, we just want the location. We don't want the last modified. So let's turn this off up here and we could come up here and say echo dollar sign V and it is LOC. So we say LOC and we're gonna put a break after this. And so then we're save and refresh and refresh this page. And now we have, well, other than our welcome to example site up here that we're gonna put a couple of breaks after. So now we have each of the URLs in that site map. So if that was three or 400 URLs, that would be great to be able to parse that out that fast and be able to uh, save that into a database or whatever you're, you're looking to do with it. But that's how you parse out XML using um, PHP, just the simple XML load string. And what that does is it puts that into um, an object or an array. So 
then you can use a for each to loop through each one of those and get the the value that you're looking for so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope that helps somebody parse out xml in php which shouldn't be done as much anymore as it used to be it used to be uh, used a lot more like subscribe comment and i will see you guys in the next video thanks